Hi all and welcome to this new video about Windows Labs and Intune. This should be a very short video, an icebreaker video, to introduce you the concept of Windows Labs and the integration into Intune. So this video will be divided into two parts. First of all, we are going to talk theoretically about Windows Labs and some considerations you need to do. And the second part will be the implementation in Intune. So we're go only going to focus about end devices and clients, not about server. So just keep that in your mind. So what is LAPS? It's the local administrator password solution. And it's a, here to manage backup and the password of local administrator accounts so of the local administrator, which is uh, built in or used on the device on Windows to Azure Active Directory. The key features about it because we also had a legacy labs and this one is the new Windows labs, so careful about that, is that it's natively integrated into Windows since the April 2023 update. It's built in the operating system. You can now store passwords in the local on-prem AD and also Azure AD. But if your devices are in Intune, it just makes sense because they will then also be hybrid joined to back up the passwords in the cloud. We also have now a password history and post authentication actions. More about that later. We also have a new PowerShell module, but that is also more important if you're going to for the on premise scenario. For Intune, it's important to say that you can do the password retrieval and rotation through the device's blade. And also, the configuration is only done through settings catalog in Microsoft Intune. So some of the key considerations uh, from my perspective, two very important things. First of all, is who can even retrieve that password? Because if you have that password, you are a local admin and that uh, is sort of a yeah, security uh, thing. Uh, so it's the global administrator. Of course, he can do everything. Intune administrator who manages devices and also the cloud device admin who can access the Intune clear text information. If you want to know more about that particular topic, consider to read my blog. It will be the first link down in the description. Second, you should not use the built-in administrator account of Windows, but instead create a separate one. Also here, it's because the built-in administrator has a known SID and it's just not recommended because it offers more attack surface. So we don't want to have to use that. So about the architecture, well, first of all, we are going to configure the client settings, uh, especially here, the backup directory, so the device knows uh, where to send the passwords to. The device will then receive and process those uh, configurations and will backup the local device credentials to Entra ID or Azure ID to its corresponding device object. Then with Intune or Entra ID, we effectively as IT administrator can access that password and in the background Microsoft Grant is used, but that's all the important things. So now about the implementation, we are going to perform three steps. First of all, is that we are going to enable the feature in the tenant. Second, we are going to create an endpoint security account protection policy. And last but not least, we are going to use a remediation script to create our additional local administrator. So let's get started. Okay, now for the implementation, make sure you have at least a cloud device administrator and Intune administrator role assigned, otherwise the settings can't be made. So first of all, we are going to enter ID and here we need to configure labs as a feature in our tenant. Go to the devices section and here to device settings. And here you have a settings to enable the local administrator password solution. Here you just need to enable the switch on yes, and that will effectively not have an, an impact until you deploy the policies. So once the switch is set to yes, you can navigate to Intune and here in the endpoint security blade, you can configure the labs policy under account protection. Just create a new policy here, Windows 10 and later, and here choose Windows labs. Uh, give it a name. So for example, Windows Labs policy, uh, also a description is optional. And these are all the settings which need to be configured. So first of all, we want to back up our password to active to sorry, Azure Active Directory only. Uh, choose a password H days. I will let everything to default. 
choose an uh, account name for the local admin. Here we are going to specify our admin. In my case, you can vary, it's up to you. Uh, but don't forget to, um, to address that in your remediation script. Password complexity, I will go for highest complexity. Password length, leave that to, to default in my case, but you can also vary here. And post authentication action is the action what happens once the authentication was successful with that LAPS account. I recommend to reset the password and log off the managed account. And I will also specify a delay. So after how long the action will kick in, I will go for something between one and four hours. It's just my recommendation. Then click on next, next, make your assignment uh, to your devices, choose a group or all devices. Um, for demo purposes, I will go for all devices, but in your environment, first test it out on a test group. Create the policy and you're ready with the configuration. So the next thing we are going to do is to create our local administrator account on our devices. For that, I use personal remediation. You go to Intune, click here to remediation and create a new script package. I would name that create loves admin. Next, we upload the two files. So first the detection script. The detection scripts detect some kind of state. In my case, it will detect if there's already this account um, existing on the device. And if not, the remediation script will be triggered. That one will then create the admin account and also add them to the local admin uh, group on the device. For the scripts, I have linked them in my blog post. These are effectively from my colleague, Nicola Suter and he provided them on GitHub. So these are the two scripts. And the only thing you need to modify in them are the username of your local admin account. For example, I used ladmin. Um, and if you want something else, just don't forget to alter them in the scripts. Upload the two script parts. Don't forget to run the scripts in 46-bit PowerShell and uh, assign the scripts also, that's everything you need to do. Okay, consider that you need some sync cycles from in the Intune service and in your devices so the configurations can arrive on the end device. For that, you can monitor the status of the remediation script, for example. Here you can see if that worked. And also for the account protection policy, and take a look at the policy if that succeeded on all of your devices. Then you can choose one of your devices and go to the local admin, admin password blade. And here you can click on show local administrator password. Uh, click here on show to effectively show it in clear text. You can see the account name, the SID, uh, last rotation, and also next plan rotation. So here you see the information directly on the device. And also here from the Entra site, again, from devices here, Labs, there's an own register where you can search for the device name or device ID. And also here you can see the same information. So let's jump onto the device to test if that worked. So here we are on the virtual machine. Now, if we try to open a command prompt as administrator, we will get prompted for credentials. And here we specify our admin account and just quickly copy the password for uh, from Intune or Entra ID, copy that in here, go yes. And here, voila, you open a command prompt with administrator uh, privileges. For example, if you now want to want to obtain the BitLocker status, that now works. If you only have a normal prompt of a command prompt, you would not be able to run that one. Okay, so for the event log, just to see here, it has a known channel under application and services logs. If you go to Windows and then directly LAPS, here we also find some events, what happened. Uh, we have a LAPS policy processing succeeded and also um, some, some successful authentications um, from my testings from before. So that's effectively it for LAPS. Pretty simple to configure, of course, if you have an enterprise environment. It's a little bit, bit more complex, but this idea should just be for beginners or to get a rough idea of how it could look like. 
And if you're interested in more information, please read my blog. As said, it will be linked in the description. And I've also done another community session on Windows Labs, which is a little bit more comprehensive, comprehensive and open this open the scope. So if you are interested in any more information about Windows Labs, consider to have a look at these resources. Thank you very much and happy lapsing. Goodbye.